Hey gamers, thanks for tuning in to Fire Chicken Review. Today we're going to be talking about Andromeda's Edge live on Game Found right now. A game that clearly I was excited because I backed it at the All In Pledge level on day one. It's the spiritual sequel to Dwellings of Eldervale, and a game that uh, once I tried out the, the demo, I knew that it was something that I, I had to get my hands on, and it looks uh, gorgeous in, in my opinion, just straight up up front. And that's why you have uh, fi almost 5,400 backers already raising uh, over 900,000 uh, US dollars and it's going to be a fairly successful campaign in my opinion and already has uh, done very well. So let's uh, go over this. As you can see it's made by uh, Cardboard Alchemy. It says it uh, uh, plays one to uh, five uh, players. I think they talk a little bit later on um, that there's a, a uh, basically a true solo uh, mode. I, I haven't had the chance to play that yet. I've only played it at uh, three players. Uh, the and they're up front with uh, the playtime. They say uh, two hours uh, on here. I think that's a little bit uh, uh, modest. They'll see. I think it'll show a bit here as well. On the box, it says uh, 40 minutes a uh, player. Uh, the, my first two uh, sessions, and mind you, this is my first time uh, playing the game, but there's a little, a few complexities. Uh, they were both about uh, just a little bit over three hours, I, I found. But again, take that with a grain of salt. This was playing on Tabletop Simulator, also known as uh, TTS. But it, both uh, games were exciting. Uh, yeah, so Andromeda's Edge, and you have this little blurb here talking about uh, Seeking the Edge. Uh, if you want to read that, by all means, I'm going to keep most of uh, uh, the flavor uh, text until I actually get uh, my physical uh, copy. But uh, I love, uh, I, I read some of the, the tidbits and it's uh, very interesting that they're building uh, the atmosphere uh, for the game uh, right away. Uh, and what type of game is this? Everyone likes to use uh, fancy words. So they say that this is a, a worker placement tableau engine building, area control, asymmetrical factions, hand management, and uh, dice battles uh, is all in the game. And here's that uh, aspect where it, said that it says 40 minutes a player, and they say up front it was uh, two hours. Again, I would say it's about, uh, I, would, uh, I would round this off uh, about an hour a player, to be honest. Um, and I think the more times you play it, it, it will start to come down, but I think you're going to need to play it uh, a few times. So if you're like me and you want to introduce uh, games uh, to new players, I, I would say uh, it's good to estimate an hour player and, and expect about a three-hour game, uh, to be honest. But uh, all these things it says here, the worker placement is quite true. The Tableau engine building is great, and I love worker placement. I love engine building. Uh, I love asymmetric aspects. I love area control, and I love hand management. And dice bound. So no wonder I, I went in an all-in uh, pledge. And of course, this all has a very similar aspects that the uh, dwellings of Eldervale had. Uh, and I think, in my opinion, has improved in almost every way, uh, to be honest. But we'll get more into that in a bit. So here's uh, the game. So they do a really good job right away showing you uh, what the game looks like. It looks like an absolute uh, monster. Of course, you can tell that this is uh, the deluxe uh, version. Um, because it has uh, the nice uh, miniatures that you can see here and uh, the wooden tokens. Uh, I'm expecting that this is going to be uh, quite a bit of a table hog. Uh, I have to watch a few more of the videos to see get a, a better reference of how big, because uh, there is some uh, actual uh, live playthroughs of the game that I definitely recommend uh, checking out and also checking out the, the TTS. Uh, but it is a very colorful, has that uh, like neon uh, colors look in that uh, sci-fi look and I, there's a lot of beautiful art uh, that is on here that I'm excited about. So as you can see some uh, testimonies uh, right away up front and uh, they get into it so they, they start to talk about uh, the different types of units which is always good say hey what you're going to get. I wish that they start with um, the actual gameplay instead of highlighting the components but components gets people very excited i am excited about showing hey here's the game board uh and it would have been nice to just go straight into hey here's uh, what we're looking at uh for gameplay wise but they highlight uh, the units uh going into it at first and if you're a day one backer you know that they had some technical difficulties but everything on the on the the game found campaign looks uh great now uh, and these miniatures, I think, are, look uh, really nice uh, in the all-in pledge, as you'll see in a bit, will come in a, a wash uh, version. Uh, for people like myself, that's an excellent option uh, because I, I don't paint and I know a lot of people don't. 
Uh, and this is probably something that got me very excited is it's going to come in uh, the game trays, which uh, is a company that has just made smart business uh, decisions, in my opinion, uh, because some of uh, my favorite games uh, all have uh, these uh, game trays. And all it is is just easy to take out uh, uh uh, components from the, uh, these beautifully built trays like I think this looks uh, very nice and I think in person it's going to look even better and uh, the thing that they see, uh, say here um, uh, do they say it right away I think they say it a little bit later but basically if you're like me uh, you know that uh, good storage systems what it really means is that you're going to get more games uh, to uh, the table one of my favorite ones uh, for example that has a good storage system is if you ever seen the storage system for dice thrones i think that's absolutely one of my favorites and that's why my spouse is always like yeah love to play it because she likes having everything in uh, neat and tidy spots i guarantee she's going to love the fact that everything has its spot in this game it's going to easily go back from the looks of it and uh, even this is an individual uh, player board, which is crazy. Like your individual player board, I, I mean, it's going to add uh, more to the size, of, of course. Uh, but it's going to, it just has that uh, wow factor, uh, which is a little bit harder to see uh, when I'm going through this. But I think when you have a physical copy in hand, you're going to see that wow factor of saying, hey, it's so neat and organized. I, I love that idea. And it looks it uh, goes well with uh, the game, in my opinion. And th this is just a demo. I think there is some uh, uh, playthroughs where they have some uh, examples of this. But I'd have to double check. Again, just going uh, more showing uh, the game trays here. <laughs> game trays let you master time and space. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. So after that, so they show some of uh, the components. This is where I say uh, the how to play should have been moved uh, up. But it really is uh, uh, this straightforward. There's a lot of rules uh, to it. But uh, basically is uh, worker placement. Uh, place your units. When you place your unit down, uh, gain the, the resource. Do the action of uh, that location. Uh, and, and then, yeah, once uh, you don't want to place any more units, so you place one unit a turn. Uh, you when you recall your units for lack of a better word there then you get to chain all the stuff that you did by getting these modules and you can get a bunch of resources victory points and stuff that's a very quick synopsis but they talk about hey launch a ship activate a region of uh, battle opponents if you occupy a same a location as opponent you would uh, battle them uh, basically at the end of your turn and of course uh, returning to your station and this is the engine building but that really is a, a very simplified, a very smart way to say this is how the, the game plays. A explain the game, uh, the uh, my first time learning the game and teaching the game. It is a little bit on the longer side at first. Uh, I think it, for me, uh, the teaches have been uh, uh, about uh, 20, 25 uh, minutes long. But I'll be curious to see once like the finalized version, how they can, uh, can uh, condense that is what I'm trying to say. But right away, uh, some of uh, the cool stuff, they already have uh, a rule book. I don't believe it's the final rule book, but they already have the rule book, so you can look at that, which is always gives you that warm and fuzzies of a campaign. When uh, the rule books are already out, the components look like they're near finalized, and there's a TTS demo. Um, and they go into why back now. You get uh, luxury uh, tokens. You're going to get the best bang for your buck, and it'll show you here. And there's a bunch of uh, different things that they talk about, including uh, doing these puzzles, which I thought was interesting. I'm not a puzzle person, so I figured out one of the, the puzzles. But what's really cool is that uh, this ancient brain uh, mini that they show here, if you solve one of them, uh, you basically get this uh, mini free. And if you got the all-in pledge, the reason why this is important is that this all-in pledge costs uh, 189 US. Uh, but if you solve a puzzle, uh, you're going to get a credit of ten dollars uh for your all-in pledge because it already comes with this so that's pretty cool is solve a puzzle really quickly get a ten dollar uh discount uh for a game that i already think is uh, priced really well love the idea of that so what does come in the all-in uh, pledge so for 189 they say hey it's a 269 value you get all all of this um and that you can click on, this is why i love game found you can click on each individual uh thing so the actual deluxe vacation i think it's 139 uh i think it's cost oh, it doesn't show here but uh you can click on each one of these and it'll tell you like what it is uh but uh, 
the the miniature wash uh, I know is yeah thirty dollars, and then you can click on the different uh, items like the upgrade tokens is another twenty dollars. Uh, so there's the deluxe version, and then there's a uh, some additional stuff that's added uh, to it. So they have uh, basically uh, obviously the feature version, which is a game found thing. It's like hey, this is what we think most of your backers are going to want to get, and you can see that um, out of the uh, 5,400 backers, I was saying, over 4,000 went with uh, the all-in because it is the best bang for your buck. Then they have the retail uh, pledge offer that you see here. So for retailers who are going to get a little bit of discount and want to uh, carry the standard or the deluxe edition because this will be going to retail. Uh, but uh, this is uh, an interesting case. I don't know what uh, the actual, if like the $99 is like the MSRP that uh, they're going to get. Uh, you might uh, get a better deal uh, if you just want the retail version. You might get a better deal just waiting to see what your retail store is going to sell it at. Uh, but uh, the shipping prices, when I get to it, are are pretty good. And there's a new stable pledge aspect that uh, we'll talk about as well. So uh, I, I, I recommend if you're back in this that uh, you get uh, the deluxe version. Otherwise, if it was me, I would wait to, to, for it to come to retail because I probably would uh, save or pay about the same amount. And it, it would mean a little bit more money for my local game store, which I always like uh, to support. So, yes, yeah, so, uh, the deluxe edition is $130. And it tells you, here's what all comes in uh, the deluxe edition right here. So $130. Uh, and uh, for basically $60 more, uh, you get uh, the remaining things. So you get, honestly, for $60 more, the, the things that I mostly cared about was, yeah, $30 for the mentors being washed, uh, another $20 for the upgraded uh, tokens, uh, and then uh, there's just uh, some interesting other uh, stuff. So. The other aspect is, hey, $10 for this, which if you do the puzzle, you get back. So I really consider it for me that I'm spending uh, the 50 bucks uh, for uh, the wash miniatures and the, the wooden tokens if you do the puzzle. And everything else is just like a bonus. But you do get uh, uh, like uh, sleeves for all your cards, which is nice. I, I usually use uh, like Sleeve King or something like that or whatever sleeves work for you. And everything else is just an interesting aspect. But I guess the... Uh, the module expansion is a cool thing and it's inexpensive, but take a look. I, I do think that uh, this is uh, a decent uh, value uh, for sure. And they're throwing in a bunch of things that I necess might not necessarily pick up. Uh, for example, uh, the dice trays, I wouldn't necessarily pick up. I'm curious how big uh, these are. I assume it's a normal size dice tray, but 20 bucks for five is pretty good. And you're basically, in my view, it feels like you're getting these for free in the all-in pledge. So that's why, again, I think a lot of people did back at this in, uh, because if you're going to get the deluxe version, spending uh, like 130 uh, versus 190, spending that extra 60 bucks, like the 60 bucks uh, US is giving you quite a, a bit. And when you factor in how much shipping is which isn't too bad as a spoiler uh it's uh it's looking pretty good so they have some uh stretch goals uh a lot of the stretch goals are adding uh small little things uh, i love uh, game found uh, stretch goals because you can like just click on something uh, and it will show you it's like hey at 950 they're going to unlock uh basically uh more uh modules and stuff like that uh and uh, these are fun little things definitely take a, a look of at some of the stuff so some of their stretch goals they've mentioned is going to be uh, based off of uh, actual funds raised others are just basically as the campaign goes on uh, they uh, will have live streams and gameplay uh, views which is always good to get more people uh, looking at uh, the product so yeah it's just good advertising overall and here's some other stretch goals that have already been unlocked uh, including uh, this uh, new enemy uh, uh, guy. I, I'm not sure I fully get it, but yeah, the model does uh, look pretty cool. It's just that snow moon that makes me laugh. I don't know why. Uh, and they talk about uh, the elders of uh, Duan. I'm probably butchering that, uh, but I love that the, they are. This is basically the elders of Dot. Sorry, the dwellings of Eldervale instead of, uh, so they put uh, Elders of Dwan, almost uh, the reverse here. So it's uh, basically um, saying, hey, yeah, uh, 
as a promo kind of type of thing. Uh, you get a faction uh, that's based off of the dwellings of Eldorero, and you have uh, this wizard <laughs> ship, as they call it, uh, to represent uh, the wizards that you would have in that game. So that's kind of cool that they, they brought in, in a cool way, a new faction. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are excited about this. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And some new modules unlocked. And nothing like too crazy or uh, exciting uh, in my view for this yet. Uh, but I think it's just going to continue to add more stuff to the game, which is cool. Um, and like they say, hey, a new mode and stuff like that. So it's clearly all stuff uh, to bring up uh, the hype uh, that they were already thinking of uh, for the game for sure. Uh, so after they talk about the stretch goals, they talk about the add on So, hey, maybe uh, you don't want to... Um, Maybe you don't want to get uh, all of the stuff for like the all-in uh, pledge. Well, you can get uh, the minis wash uh, individual. Sorry, like you can just pay uh, the $30 uh, to have uh, the minis wash uh, with a dark uh, paint. Uh, I think this is probably uh, one of uh, the best options if you're like me and you like the deluxified tokens. Because I, I like to have deluxified uh, stuff. Uh, I think uh, the wooden upgrades uh, is always a, a cool aspect. Uh, yeah, so they go in, and these are the individual uh, stuff. So if you just want to uh, pick and choose, or you want to pick up something uh, for your friends or something like that, it doesn't uh, seem uh, too bad. And it seems uh, really good. Uh, six dice, even though it shows uh, three. So it says uh, you get uh, six dice for four bucks. Uh, I would like to see like an actual video of what the, these dice are going to look like. But if they're going to look like this for four dollars there's a lot of people i know that like play rpgs and stuff and uh they'll they'll easily buy like multiple sets of uh this just to have nice uh, looking dice but uh this comes uh, uh free and all these add-ons that's the cool factor is all these add-ons are uh free uh not free but it's a reduced uh, price in the all in uh, uh pledge uh so that's that's kind of cool and then they have some social goals that are going to be starting in four days because uh, on the 7th of February, they're going to be having some more social uh, stuff. So they're going to be showing all that uh, good stuff. And I talked about the, the puzzles. Uh, so again, uh, when you go to, when you click on the, the thing, which I believe is, yeah, you can click on here, take me to the puzzles. And uh, the puzzles seem to be really hard for me. Uh, maybe I'm not... Uh, I didn't look too heavily into it. I only spent uh, a few minutes quickly on uh, a few of them looking at them. I said, oh, I'm, I'm just going to answer one, and, and that was it. Uh, but basically, you get this cool, very cool looking mini, in my opinion, uh, for free if you solve one of the puzzles. And again, if you get the all in pledge, uh, you get a $10 discount. Uh, and if you solve all nine uh, puzzles uh, by the 20th of February, uh, you, you have a chance of uh, winning. Uh, an all-in uh, pledge, uh, which is, yeah, that's that's fairly cool. I I, I think uh, because of uh, the challenge of the puzzles, they're not like crazy challenging, but uh, you can go on their Discord and uh, they'll give you like hints uh, for each of uh, the puzzles. Um, I, I think there's less than normal amount of people that uh, are going to enter for a chance to win the all-in pledge. I don't know what the final number is going to be. I'm sure they'll let us know. But it's still going to be fairly hard to win. So most of the people are just doing one to either get this for free or get a $10 uh, discount. And uh, yeah, after that, they just talk about uh, going into uh, the different uh, factions. So I, I'll speed through uh, this aspect. And that's why uh, I love uh, this little side uh, key here so i'll skip right down to the play now uh so you can just click on here and it'll take you straight to um the spot uh, so you'll need to have if you want to get this you need to have steam and tabletop similar so steam is free and tabletop similar is about 20 us when it's non-sale and like 10 us when it, it, it is so it is a very good deal like you can basically play uh, a digital version of the demo which is a near complete game in my opinion and i uh, actually had uh, one of the their their team uh teach me uh the game because i went on to uh their discord and they did a lovely job of teaching me and uh, one uh, other person uh the game had uh, uh a lot of fun uh playing it and uh yeah it was, it was uh, fairly cool i uh, I, and that's why I was like, yeah, confirms that I'm keeping my all-in pledge, and and the game is a lot of fun. 
uh, and I love that they say skip the the manual um, and they say right here uh, that uh, their uh, people will help you learn uh, the game so they're doing a really good job on their discord uh, obviously the campaign's live so they're putting a lot of overtime in trying to show people the game so demoing the game where you would see this at like uh, like Gen Con and other conventions of having these demos for these uh, games now uh, that word of mouth is coming through especially during like uh, the current like COVID times it's really cool that you can just play online and do that so then they have a bunch of, of videos definitely check out uh, some of these some great uh, uh, and highly rated uh, reviewers uh, of course um, so check out uh, some of these uh, I've checked out some of these uh, this person here, uh, for instance, if you click on that one, has some of the best quality videos I've seen uh, and uh, is very excited like I am about this game. And the other videos are high quality as well, but uh, some of the, the, the camera work and probably the editing uh, versus my basically zero editing I do for any of my videos is uh, uh, eye-opening eye for sure. Um, and so they go into the different languages. I'll, I'll skip that. So it, but... Or I won't skip it. It's going to also come in uh, French, Italian, Polish, uh, and English as well. Uh, they go into uh, retail backers. We'll be able to get uh, the all-ins and the standard versions and stuff. But uh, the big ticket item that everyone wants is like, hey, what's going on with uh, campaigns nowadays? Is shipping going to cost me an arm and a leg? And so this is the thing that I was looking at and I was nervous about because I said, hey, this seems like a decent price for the, the standard or the deluxe. But if the shipping is going to be like, oh, I don't know, so I spent, what, $190 on, on this game? If it was going to be like $90 shipping, uh, very similar. I, I mentioned something like that because uh, I, uh, other big companies and other uh, some miniature games that I've been backing recently, not to mention any big uh, names, but you can probably take a guess, uh, have been like half the cost of uh, the actual game, which just is gut wrenching on top of uh, potentially playing extra duty fees and stuff like that, or taxes at least, because I'm living in Canada. But the actual shipping for this, as you can see, is not that bad. I mean, outside of like these uh, areas, like if you're in Alaska, Hawaii, and stuff like that, they understand that they usually have to pay uh, additional amount. But overall, uh, when I look at uh, this, the shipping prices are really good. Like, look at the difference between uh, uh, the two pledges, really, maybe the all three, uh, is that it's six more dollars for the all-in pledge from the standard so you're getting everything that's in the deluxe and you're getting all these extra mats and you're getting all this stuff uh they're clearly eating uh some of uh the shipping uh, fees in my uh my opinion i like this seems like a really good price for an all-in so if you're in the states 28 bucks in canada like uh, myself it's still 28 bucks so if you're a canadian like me that feels really nice because uh you know that a lot of companies are charging you easily 10, 15 US more uh, for just like a standard pledge than if it was going through the States. And that's usually because the, it like ships to the States and then from the States, uh, they'll like drive it into Canada, which is kind of frustrating and we usually pay a little bit more. Uh, but the fact that uh, Canadians are paying the same, just cause I'm Canadian, that's why I'm ha haggling about that, is really cool. And um, also the fact that if you lived in a few other spots like the uk is paying less and uh there's like they're the U the uk is paying 16 which is fantastic and then uh a few of the U um eu uh zones are also not paying uh too bad uh with uh and again australia if you look at all these uh, spots so they're really trying uh to have as low of uh, shipping costs as as possible of course you still have to pay as i say here you have to pay vat uh canada you have to pay uh gst um and us has to pay like sales tax as appropriate so even with that said so like uh my uh taxes here i know exactly how much more i'm going to be uh paying and i'm 100 percent uh, uh fine with that because uh, the shipping prices are are not wonderful they're what I, I'm comfortable and should be comfortable paying with. I wish uh, more campaigns uh, were like this because this is like pre-COVID, 
uh, before shipping costs uh, skyrocket. So they're clearly probably eating a lot of the, the costs, but it's definitely appreciated. I know that uh, people in the, the EU, UK, with uh, all the VAT changes uh, that has come about, are probably uh, appreciating that at least they're putting in a really good effort. And, and if you're in North America, we're getting a, a great deal and a few other spots are great, getting a good deal uh, as well. But that's that's my opinion. Like I, I think that this is a really good thing for your buck. Let me know in the comments if I'm glorifying this uh, too much or if you agree that it's a nice uh, to see that uh, the shipping appears to be uh, a good prices. And with that being said, uh, there is a, a thing called the stable pledge here. And basically what the, the stable pledge uh, says, if I was to summarize it, hey, if we lie to you, <laughs> if if we if the shipping price, so if the shipping of uh, Canada is, uh, so it says all in pledge is $28. If it turns out that it's even 32 US dollars, uh, then uh, what's going on? Or basically like, uh, they say 10% more of like the full, like, uh, like whatever you're back and whatnot. But like, if it even comes in at like 35 US dollars versus uh, 28, it's my understanding or like combine the pledge in this 10% more, whatever you get. Uh, if it's 10% more, then you can request a hundred percent refund right away saying, Hey, that shipping's way too much. I'm not comfortable with that. And that's what the stable pledge, uh, it is all about actually my one of my favorite games just to have a little plug-in uh keyforge uh by ghost galaxy and you can check out some of my videos uh, for that they were the first uh company uh on uh game found when they ran their campaign to have uh the stable pledge and i think game found is uh very smart uh to uh, get uh people on board saying hey a lot of uh, backers are fed up with not knowing how much things are going to cost if you feel comfortable and you, you got all your marketing down and you have a good estimate of what your shipping is going to cost, tell them that it's going to have a, a stable uh, pledge and they have that extra confidence that you're saying, yeah, we're going to make sure you get the best bang for your buck. And if you don't feel comfortable, we're going to uh, refund you. And what happens is that uh, like uh, basically uh, game found to get into the weeds a bit about this for those that are interested game found would normally still keep uh, their fees and as you can see right there uh, they choose uh, to refund the company so there's none of this like Kickstarter aspect of where they say after 14 days blah 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 no they say hey you would uh, you try to back this uh, you're gonna get your money back because the company is getting their money back as well from game found for uh, the fees that they would collect from that individual pledge because everyone's uh, trying to work together because they still want to make good money but they don't want to make you feel like you get ripped off so it's a little bit of customer service that i'm uh, ranting and raving about because i, I to me it's a, a big deal uh i know uh there's a big game that i i was one of the people that backed and lots of people uh, backed it on kickstarter and when my pledge uh my shipping charges were was uh basically double of what uh, was advertised, but I already sunk in like hundreds of thousands, hundreds of US dollars to this pledge and I will have lost uh, at least like $70, uh, if not more. Uh, I, I felt it was a little bit trapped. So that's why I rant and rave with the stable pledge. So they go on about uh, saying, uh, yeah, they're ex extremely happy uh, to have art uh, from Sorego. Uh, uh, and I apologize because I know I'm butchering uh, the name. And I, some of the artwork is absolutely fantastic. So some of the, like, the, the modules that you get and everything, little details in it, uh, I am excited about as well. So uh, if I get a chance, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see uh, videos talking about some of, it, of his art or just show some of the more art of uh, the game. But overall, uh, I think uh, this game, it looks absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, and I think the campaign's running extremely well. And as you can see uh, from me talking here, uh, over 5,400 backers have uh, reached it. And uh, yeah, this is Andromeda's Edge. Again, the spiritual sequel to Dwellings of Eldervale. Are you considering uh, backing uh, the, the campaign or not? And if you are, uh, my biggest recommendation, don't just take me uh, my own words. 
Uh, go to uh, Tabletop Simulator. If you don't own it, find a friend that has Steam and uh, has a Tabletop Simulator and say, hey, I'm going to sit at your house for three hours. I, I don't actually recommend that. But if you do have Steam and uh, you download it, you don't need a fancy computer. I think this is an excellent way uh, to test out the game so that you can tell if this is going to be uh, bang for your buck. You don't have to get the deluxified version. You can get the standard, but I recommend getting it at retail if that's the case. If you're getting uh, the deluxe uh, version, I think uh, this campaign, because the for you. Uh, because the shipping is such a good price, I definitely think that this is going to be uh, worth it for you. So, yeah, this is uh, Andromeda's Edge. Like I said, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you considering back in the game? And what do you think of uh, this uh, campaign so far? All right, take care.